in this particular section we will continue with our next scenario from the diva beta application so let's get started again i'm using my kali linux on the left hand side with the zx running here and i'm using my android emulator on the right hand side and the diva installed here let's go with our next scenario and that was insecure data storage part 3 and let's go with this one we have the same over objective we have to figure out where the credentials are being stored right so let's enter some values here so i'll go with values username as and let's go with password save the credentials credentials have been saved now we have to figure out where these credentials are being stored so let's go with our source code to figure out and again we'll start with the same method go with the manifest file to figure out the actual location for the main source code for this particular activity just figure out the activity name and the activity name was insecure data storage 3 activity so just follow the location here just expand go with this particular data storage 3 activity now if you see here we got the basic class declarations we got some libraries import here and now we got the basic on create method which simply declares nothing special here now we got save credentials method which will be executed by your view elements and here we declare two different users two different variables you can say the first variable name was usr user and second variable name was pwd for the password part and the value which will be stored in these variables will be collected from these input fields the username will be stored inside this usr variable and the password will be stored inside this pwd variable here now we simply start the try block here and inside the try block we simply declare an object for our file type the object name was uinfo and with the help of this file class we simply create a temporary file here and the temporary file name will simply start with the uinfo word and it will end with the tmp word and the file will be stored inside the application information directory it means the location the directory for this particular file will be slash data slash data then application folder or you can say the application main directory we simply set some permissions as well for this temporary file we have created here and the permissions were set readable and set writable it means we can read or we can write the file after that part we simply define another object from the file writer class here and the object name was fw which will work with our uinfo object and we simply write some values inside this temporary file here because this particular fw object will call your uinfo object and your uinfo object here is linked with your temporary file now we simply write two values first one was your usr that was our input field at the top here and the second one was your pwd that was the input field here we simply collect the input with the get text method we simply convert it into string and then save it inside our temporary file with this fw object which was linked with your uinfo object normal case after writing these values inside the temporary file we simply close the file and then toast a message like third party credentials are stored successfully done if there was any kind of error inside this code then you will get an error like file error occur and your application will close if there was any error only then otherwise your temporary file will be created and these two values will be stored inside that temporary file to access that temporary file just go with your terminal and go with the same command like start with your adb shell go with simple cd slash data slash data then with the package folder as jacaras in diva and here you will get a file with the name uinfo and then some random values and at the end we got the tmp because we have seen this in the code that your file name will start with uinfo word and it will end with the tmp word out there and the same format is you can see here if you want to see the content we have the read and write permissions because they were defined here set readable and set writable so you can easily read this file and to get the content just go with basic cat command and go with this file and hit enter and here you can see 
the values are being stored in form of your plain text what you can do to secure this part for the security part you need to encrypt your input first so you can see you can simply encode as well if you want you can simply encode the input let's say in like base 64 base 32 part or you can simply follow some hex encoding as well if you want or if you want you can follow some manual encryptions as well to store these username and password in a secure manner in those temporary files as well so in this particular scenario your input or you can say your passwords and other different things are being stored inside your temporary file which you can directly access from this particular location slash data slash data and then package name that's all and have a good day